Hey, welcome back everyone. Twitch is here and I got my first news video for 2023. Check it out, right? We're going to be talking about some brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figures. But of course, before we jump into it, if you are interested in any of the figures you see in this video, I'll have links down in the description below for Amazon and Entertainment Earth. And as always, Thanks so much for using my links. I really appreciate it, and it'll help the channel to grow. Yada, yada. We're wasting enough time. Let's jump right into it. First and foremost, we have the Infinite Frontier Joker. And just keep in mind, these figures were prior revealed around New York Comic Con time, 2022. This is a relatively modernish, newish take for the Joker. He still has his purple suit, he's still got his green hair. But it's just a little different in some aspects. Namely, that he is now missing an eye, right? Odd. But due to Harley Quinn, yeah, he's missing an eye. He's even holding his eye, which is kind of interesting, as you can see in the product shots right there. A little bit different. But yeah, you can see one of his eyes is all sewn shut. So, a little bit different take on the Joker. It'll depend on your taste. It's pretty Joker-ish, if you ask me. However, does it do the trick for me? Remains to be seen. This will be one of those figures, when I see it in store, I'll make the better judgment call. He's not my ideal Joker, we've got a ton of Jokers, but it is something different for the old collection. Now, moving on to say something different, well, something repainted, and we've known this guy would be coming sooner or later, and sure enough, yes, we have the blue Hush Batman. And it's a good looking Batman, this version has a different head sculpt to the black and gray version that we got in the Hush 2 pack. However, it does seem that this one will have the correctly painted gloves this time, which is always nice. It's a pretty solid Batman, and I wish it had updated articulation though, I will say that, especially the joints of the wrists and the feet. However, what I do appreciate is that this Batman comes with a pair of extra fists and two batarangs. Can't say that enough. Batman should always have a batarang. He also has the DC Multiverse stand and a trading card. So, if you need a blue Hush Batman, you can go ahead and pre-order with the links down below now. But I gotta tell you, of the three figures we're looking at today, this is the one that I'm definitely looking forward to. As a really 90s DC Comics fan, that's where a lot of my nostalgia really hits hard, we have the 90s Nightfall Catwoman. And they pretty much nailed the look of her, even down to the boots, a nice sheen overall. She does come with her really cool wild whip, which of course, every cat woman should have a whip, so I definitely appreciate that. Got a little blue in her hair. I'm not a huge fan of the diaper, though. That, I hopefully, hopefully looks better in hand, but I do like the little blue touches. Very 90s to put all that blue in the hair, right? But here's everything that she comes with, along with some really cool extended cat claw gloved hands. So interchangeable hands, whip, all that jazz. Pretty dang cool. And if you ask me, with all the 90s figures we got in 2022, heck, I would take a heck of a lot more if you wanted to do that all over again in 2023. So that will wrap up my quick look at some of the upcoming brand new DC Multiverse figures by McFarlane Toys. And like I said, I have affiliate links down in the description below. So hope it meets all your pre-order needs. But as always, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know, let's talk everything DC Multiverse, and tell me what are your hopes to see for 2023. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, please keep bringing on those 90s DC Comics characters and all those glorious costumes. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>